very unfortunate. So Tinubu can't be criticized, advised by ranking senator. Daily Muhammadu reacting to the suspension or removal of Undume as the chief whip of the National Assembly. Welcome to the news. If you are new, kindly like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And if you have been there, thank you for your support always. Daily Muhammadu, a former presidential contender, a member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has taken to social media to voice his disappointment at Senator Ali Dume's dismissal as Senate Chief Whip. Debate has erupted over the National Assembly decision, which came about as a result of a protest from the National Headquarters of the All Progressive Congress, APC. Muhammad expressed doubt about the National Assembly's conduct questioning if President Bola Ahmed Tindumbu is exempted from ranking, exempt from ranking senators' criticism and cancer. Well, somebody has said, Apabio is an appendage of Mr. President, that the Senate President is always doing the bidding of Mr. President, whether he asks for it or not. The member said he is not happy with what is happening. He conveyed his dismay, dismay by saying, what manner of National Assembly is this? So President Bola Ahmed Tinubu cannot be criticized and advised by a ranking senator. This is very sad and unfortunate. Mamadou's remarks has raised questions about the boundaries of criticism and free speech in Nigerian politics, particularly under a democratic system. The dismissal of Senator Ndume a well-known senator has sparked concerns about the independence and tolerance of the National Assembly towards opposing viewpoints. This is, there is more to come. If a member of the inner caucus of the National Assembly can be dealt with this way, then opposition should get ready. We had a lot of reaction on this. Uh, those thieves and Ayana that President Bola met in Bugadan around have already destroyed him, just like the wizard who advised Pharaoh not to let Israel go. He has yielded to the voice of Ayanas, he will destroy himself together with the Ayanas. Well, Dele Mamadou, listen to yourself and stop playing unnecessary politics. I expected you to have been more mature politically. Senator Nduma is a ranking senator, a principal officer, a member of the ruling party that can have access to the president and the presidency. Where will you come to public and talk ill of government is supported to form and the party that gave him platform to be senator? Daily Mamadou, you don't talk for talk's sake, but be objective when debating national issues. Nduma deserves the treatment he got. I don't know where we're going with this foot and back in at the National Assembly. Nduma should continue speaking out the truth because that is what could set the country free. He shouldn't just join those orcs, snakes, and scorpions, colleagues of his, whose soul had already been sold to the devil. Which truth? Nduma has lost focus. He's part of the government. Is criticizing. If he wants to join the ranks of the social critics, let him resign from the Senate and stop collecting the millions. Robert Stamp senators that is working for a progressive Congress, not for Nigerians. No wonder Nigeria has refused to move forward. Jonathan government was criticized, but not what happened. Tinubu is being criticized. And everyone that talks, they want to get him out of the way. He said the truth, you are overruled. His opinion stands. Well, that is people's reaction to what has happened to the chief whip of the National Assembly, Senator Halim Dume. Don't mind him. Dume is carrying out northern agenda against 2027, but we are still in 2024.
2027 will still fall. Well, APC is the worst thing that happened to Nigerians. APC have put Nigerians in bondage for years now. We need God's intervention. God will not come down to intervene. We should do the needful. This is a very clear evidence that a new Nigeria is not in sight. If you cannot criticize the government, then who do we criticize? In Dume, we talk more. They, they went too far by removing him. Another one said, I don't know how some people or other people don't have the right. Well, they don't know their right from their left hand. When you said the truth, it is becoming a harm to corrupt leaders. Daily Momodu, are you one of those who say Nigeria not be Lagos? Wait, watch, and see what happens next. Apabio is the pharaoh in Nigeria who is pretending to practice democracy. Momodu, you are not speaking the truth. That Ndume is part of the government, do not stop him from going back to them and ask the question where it's not clear. He has not exposed anything. Whatever he's saying is there in the open. The word that pay me more is kleptomania, which also means stealing uncontrollably. The senators shot themselves on the foot when they were induced and allowed the presidency to impose the current Senate leadership. Now they want freedom of speech. This is just the beginning. Anybody that said pin in that Senate will be visited by thunder. Way out is for Senate to mind up and remove this current Senate leadership and elect for themselves their own leadership and live happily ever after. Senator, Senator Momodi is not the Senator. We cannot call Udume all trances, all trances as mere expression. It is intentionally prepared to drag the government down and to create cheap political popularity for their evil intention. There is no doubt the National Assembly far far below the expectations of Nigerians. The fact that they went ahead to buy the 160 million jeep for each member in spite of what criticism from all strata of the public confirms the fact that they are not representing Nigerians but themselves. However, there is a difference between criticism, criticism and condemnation. If your condemnation of your group is your choice, it is better not to be a member of that group. Undume's utterances in the recent and immediate connote bitterness for loss of some privileges in the group he is. He is not on the side of the masses at all. Let us remember how he even got to be a senator this time. Let him be enjoying his own 160 million jeep from the sweat of Nigerians and the bitterness that should accompany self-centeredness. Well, what is your own opinion on this? Can they like, share, subscribe to this channel and make your comment known? Was it removed justly or not? Thank you and God bless.